Hey everybody, Michaela Renava alongside Zach Cox at Gillette Stadium. The Patriots preparing to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars in week two. It is, of course, the big AFC Championship rematch. And Zach, I want to get into some players to watch during this game and starting with the Patriots' own wide receiver, Chris Hogan, who was extremely quiet in week one against the Texans. He was extremely quiet, which was a little bit surprising considering he's he's the, num the team's number one wide receiver until Julian Edelman returns from his four-week suspension, which won't be for another couple weeks. So the Patriots need more out of Chris Hogan. He only had one catch on five targets against the Texans, 11 yards, really wasn't involved much in the offense at all. Luckily for them, Philip Dorsett kind of took on that number one role, seven catches on seven targets, 66 yards, one touchdown. But with Dorsett, given how little he performed last year, I, don't, I still don't think you're you can really rely on him to be to put up those number one type numbers every week. So I'm going to be looking forward for Chris Hogan to kind of take on a little bit of a larger role this week. All right. As for Jalen Ramsey, cornerback for the Jags, he sure seems to think he will do a very good job against Rob Gronkowski if he is covering him. In general, what do you think we'll see from him in this game? Well, I kind of hope that we see him match up against Rob Gronkowski because obviously Jalen Ramsey has been talking a ton of smack all summer, a ton of smack about Rob Gronkowski, who he said he, I believe his exact words are, he's not as great as other people think he is. So I hope we see him match up one-on-one. -on -one. Jalen Ramsey typically matches up against another team's or the, the opposition's number one wide receiver, so he doesn't have a ton of experience covering tight ends, but Rob Gronkowski basically is the Patriots' number one wide receiver right now, given the way that they use him, how often they split him out, line him up in the slot. So I hope we see some Gronk versus Ramsey uh, action on Sunday to kind of settle this, settle this beef for, for once and for all. And another factor on the Jaguars' defense is Dante Fowler, who we didn't see in week one. He was, of course, suspended, so this will be his first game of the season, but definitely expect him to impact this game. He certainly impacted the uh, the last time these two teams played. He's not even a starter. He comes off the bench. He's one of their, uh, their sub-rushers. Obviously, Jacksonville has a very, very deep front seven, very, very deep defense as a whole. But Dante Fowler had, had two sacks of Tom Brady here last year in the AFC Championship game, three quarterback hits. J Jaguars didn't pick up his fifth-year option, so he's playing in a contract year right now. Uh, he told reporters down in Jacksonville this week that playing against Tom Brady again is a good chance to prove that he's elite. If, if he can turn in that same kind of performance that he did last year, it's really going to give the Patriots some problems. Obviously, the Jaguars do have some other weapons up there up front in, in Calais Campbell, Yannick Ngakwe, some of the uh, bigger guys they have inside. But, yeah, this is a very talented uh, Jaguars front. But I, I'm, I'm looking for Dexter, or Dante Fowler to, uh, to see what he can do out here. All right. Well, I, for one, am really looking forward to watching this game. Zach, thanks for the insight. We'll have you covered on Nesson.com, so stay with us.